Giovanni Vakershner in Del Mar. Now at this lifeguard station about 100 yards offshore is where Sunday's shark attack happened. Thanks to real time tracking, we now know that sharks are using this area of Del Mar as a nursery for their pups who keep coming back years and years later. Experts saying thanks to this tracking system, they were notified of four great white sharks in the area the day of the attack. Real time tracking starts with a tag. So then we can drive up alongside the shark. And then the first thing we do is dip a camera underneath a GoPro so we can tell if it's a male or a female. And then once we know the sex, then we can dart a tag in the shark's back. Every time a tagged shark swims past one of the 100 underwater receivers or nine special receiver buoys, lifeguards are alerted. Right now, there are female great white sharks in Del Mar giving birth to their pups and clustering the coast down to Torrey Pines. Beachgoers worry about an attack happening again. Very terrified, just really scared, really scary. However, experts tell us you are less likely to be bitten at these sites compared to others. So then the question is why? So we think a lot of that has to do with the fact that those sharks are around people every single day, now can identify people, and because we're not food and we don't pose a threat, they just ignore us. A juvenile great white shark is believed to be the culprit in Sunday's attack. Shark Lab in Long Beach continues to investigate by testing the water Monday morning, looking for DNA of the victim and the shark that bit him. And from taking the water sample, can we identify that whether that individual's DNA is still in the water? So this wow. has never been done before. We're not sure if we can make it work, but we're going to give it a try. In Del Mar, Ava Kirshner, ABC 10 News.